Next news, Zod of the Vatican. Altar boys say they were abused by priests at the Vatican. Um, <laughs> Okay, we're talking so, hold about. On. Let's let's start. Um, let's start this from the beginning. Shopam, can you mute yourself? Yeah, I'm actually leaving. I have to really. Yeah, go yeah. Because, okay, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Let, let's try this again. Yeah. Okay, Ali, start from the right. beginning. All right. Uh, this is news out of the Vatican. Altar boys say they were abused by priests at the Vatican. So what we're talking about here is people. These children were actually being abused at the Vatican. I don't think a lot of people know this, but there is a youth seminary there that houses boys from ages 11 to 18, um, and they serve as altar boys, and um, I mean, they're, they're going to the seminary school. So what happens is the boys shower there, okay, um, and sleep there and everything else. These boys are saying that in the 90s, priests would strip them of their robes sit them on their laps, fondle them, uh, kiss them. And and this is all in the Vatican, that they're doing this. Inside the boys. Vatican. This is, is, wow. Okay, go on. Yeah. And another part of their, their claims here is that um, the priests were helping each other cover up these crimes. So uh, this is just unreal. The, the Catholic Church wanted a lot of credit earlier this year when the Pope came out and said, you know what, uh, priests, it's now your responsibility to start reporting child abuse to the police because everyone knows that priests weren't, they, they were excluded from the uh, mandated reporting laws. So they were allowed to hear that somebody had committed murder or hear that somebody had uh you know, sexually molested a child, and they didn't have to report that to the police. Well, now when it comes to just child molestation, the the Pope is saying, okay, guys, let's start reporting this to the police. Um, and they're still not doing it. And even now with this investigation that's going on, uh, they are, the, the investigators are outraged and appalled that the priests aren't um, helping at all. They're not, they're not talking about what's happening. They're not trying to, um, give any accounts of what happened on certain nights. It seems like they're still trying to cover up crimes for each other. Uh, so this is just, it's, it's horrifying. So, so basically like after all the promises that they're going to be transparent and everything, none of that happened, right? That's right. And, um, this was back in, you said back in when 1990s? In the 90s is when this abuse took place. And but th is this a new thing for us to hear that like because we hear a lot of the abuse of, of children, obviously, in many, many places is correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the first time we're getting reports of it happening inside the Vatican? I don't know. Or do we? Have Absolutely. And a new victim actually came forward in 2017 saying that he was molested just steps away from Pope Francis. Mm. Um where where he resides so a lot of boys are coming forward now from this seminary um and and even though we we hear about this all the time this is a new case um even though the the victims were abused in the 90s most of the vi victims were abused in the 90s um this is a this is a brand new case that is being investigated right now is it fair for me to say that if we lived in a in a in a in a world where the laws were actually being applied equally the police would be just raiding the vatican right now and uh, put it, i think taking, that's fair to say yeah taking everyone out with handcuffs like is that or is that not like no that that's not how it works i think well, when somebody is accused of it here in america they get raided their computers get confiscated i mean right. things are looked into so why isn't that happening there yeah like honestly like why is why is it i mean i know why it's not but yeah why is it that the police is not just going in and just be like listen this is an organization that has been covering uh you know child molestation for this many years and everybody's arrested all your computers are confiscated all your assets are frozen imagine that being the headline news wouldn't that be amazing <laughs> See, like seriously this would this would, with any other organization any i think any other organization that's what they would, they would be dealing with after all of this i think i'm not sure you know one you know it, 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 imagine in italy somebody 
making that their agenda, like a, a president or whatever. Wouldn't they become a local hero or something in, globally? I think if they did that. Imagine if they said like, well, I mean, do they? Does the police in Italy even have jurisdiction on Vatican? I mean, I know they're a separate country, but can they like just kill somebody there and nobody can do move in? Like, how how independent are they? Like, uh, that's a good question. Yeah. Like, is it is it is it so that because their own country, they can do whatever they want in the walls of Vatican, and Italy's police can't do anything about it? Is that I don't know. Somebody tell us. Let me see what the top comments are. This is like, a lot of people might make fun of how sh like oh, people are going to be like shocking, shocking. Uh, Christy is saying they have their own court system and their own uh, police and its own military. Wait, so if like if the Pope like shoots somebody in the head inside Vatican, can Italy's police not do anything about it? Like they're like, well, that's a separate country. Is that how it works? I don't know. But I know they have their own courts and everything, but is that is that how independent they are from Italy? That's what I want to know. But, um, yeah, but another thing I want to say is that I know a lot of people are going to make fun of how not shocking this is by, making, by saying, oh, shocking. Uh, but to me, this is a bit shocking. I mean, this is the first time I'm hearing about it happening inside Vatica. Am I so naive to find this shocking? Ali, am I being naive? Because I am finding it shocking. I bet. Yeah, um, I think this is one of the first times that it's ever gotten to be reported because a lot of people are too scared. You know, the, the closer they get to the Vatican, just like, uh, what was his name, George Pell, who was best friends with the Pope, um, who was tried in Australia and convicted. The closer these people are to the Vatican, the more scared their victims become. So for these boys to step forward and say, you know, th that just shows, you know, the, the power of these boys. They're they're not as scared as most people are. Um, so I think that's the th but But there have been several cases that have been reported about, like, a, a girl going missing in the 80s um, who her brother believed was buried in the uh, in the Vatican. Um there, there have been other cases where it's been suspected, but this is the first time I'm hearing of witnesses brave enough to come forward and say I was sexually molested by the priests in the Vatican. So the problem is that, okay, so when we have like priests in the United States or in Australia or in India or in Philippines or in Mexico do something, at least we have, you know, I, I know this has been a major failure, but at least we can hope that we can get the police of those countries to take action. And we've seen recently in Australia and in Philippines, they have taken action against some, some of these priests, which is great. But I just don't know which, which authority, if it's happening inside the Vatican, is there anybody that you could appeal to? Like, are they completely immune from even any chance of anybody? Like, n uh, looking into this, like, is there any, there's no higher authority, right? So at least in the United States, you could go to call the cops uh, or in any other country. But who do you call when they're doing it in Vatican? I mean, do they just build, did they just build the crime freeze? I don't know. Uh, let me see the top comment. Somebody tell us, please. Uh, the top comment is saying, surprise, surprise, who would have thought, right? Well, I mean, I guess I was naive. Uh, Chris is saying, oh my god, what a surprise. I didn't think that this would ha ever happen at the Vatican. Give me a f effing break. Shake my head. I guess it makes sense for them to do it in Vatican, given that you can't call the cops on them. Um, yeah, okay. That's Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. 
With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.